Okay, today I'm going to go over various test kits you can use in your pool to check the water, check the chlorine level, pH, and the alkalinity, calcium hardness, and conditioner level in your pool. One of the important things about maintaining your pool is getting the right test kit for it. So I'm going to go over the four different test kits that you can use. You can use the K2005. This, you have the K2006, which is pretty unique in itself. You have the five-way test kit, and you have the test strips here, the AquaCheck 7 weight strips are what I use on the route. So each one of these kits differs on how they test for chlorine. The Taylor kit uses a region dye. The Taylor 2006 kit uses the DPT test. It's a powder form you use in the tester. And the 5-in-1 uses a yellow or a white OTO that turns yellow. This one here is not available in some countries as they're banned because the OTO is a cancer carcinogen. And the aqua strip, you just dip it in and you can get a chlorine reading. The one advantage that the Taylor 2006 has, the DPT test, goes that it can test the chlorine to 10 parts per million. The K2005 and the other Taylor kits, along with the five way test kits here, only go to 5 parts per million with the chlorine reading. The test strips also go up to 10 parts per million, but not nearly as accurate as a DPT test. So if you have a pool that has high chlorine readings, this is the only test kit that's going to give you an accurate reading. As far as pH, all three kits use the same red solution here, 2005, the 2006 uses that indicator, and the five-way test kit. I would say that all three of these kits are very accurate with the pH. The 2005 and 2006 also do an acid demand, and the five-in-one test kit does an acid demand test also. What this one doesn't do is a base demand. The 2006, K2006 and 2005 also do a base demand for you. And the test strip also does a pH test. I find that this actual test strip, the pH is actually very accurate on this strip. 2005 does an alkalinity test. Also the 2006 and also the 5-in-1 test kit. And the Alkalinity test on the AquaCheck is not quite as accurate. It's more of a ballpark figure. I find this one good, but the Taylor test kit, the alkalinity is excellent. Five way test kit ends. It does the chlorine, pH, and acid demand, and the alkalinity. The Taylor kit will also do the hardness, calcium hardness test. Both these kits do that. And the 701 do a total hardness, which is different than a calcium hardness test. These two Taylor kits do an actual hardness test. You can actually see what the calcium level is in your water. In addition to that, both Taylor kits also can do a conditioner test. And the 701 test also does a conditioner reading here. advantage of the Taylor kit is that they also do a combined chlorine reading. The 5-in-1 test kit doesn't do that. And the AquaCheck does give you a combined chlorine reading. It gives you a total chlorine and free chlorine. And that's how you can tell if you have combined chlorine. The K2006 gives you the best combined chlorine reading because it uses the DPT test. The 2005, the combined chlorine is a little harder to see in the test. The thing you have to know about the Taylor kits is that the reagents are dye-based, so they will expire on you. So if you're getting inaccurate readings, chances are that the reagent has expired. It's time to get new reagents. You can order them. And these test strips also expire. The date here is 03-2015, so they'll also go bad. Major disadvantage of the test strips is that they're not quite as accurate. They're more of a ballpark reading. The disadvantage of the 5 and 1-way test kit, it only does the chlorine, pH, acid demand, and alkalinity. And I guess the only disadvantage with the Taylor kits are that they're pretty expensive. Quick comparison of the readings here. I have the chlorine and pH reading in three of the kits plus the test strip here. 
So we have the 5 and 1 test strip here. Chlorine reading showing good, 3.0. pH is showing about 7.6. We have the 2005. Again, without a white background, it's a bit harder to read. You can carry a white background with you to kind of get a good reading here. Showing chlorine reading about 2.0 or so. pH about 7.6. And the 2006, I just did the pH test right now because you have to use the same side for the uh, chlorine test. The chlorine test with the 2006. See that showing some free chlorine here. And the test strip is showing free chlorine about 3.0 or so. Showing pH about 7.6. It's also giving me the alkalinity reading about 80. And the cyanuric acid reading is showing that it's about ideal, 30 to 50 parts per million. So the Taylor K2006 is probably the best test kit you can get. The Taylor K2005 and lower models are also good. The 5 and 1 OTO test kits are handy to use. So the test strips are definitely not a standalone tester. You're going to need a good test kit to go along with Quick that. Quick look at the different test kits that you can use to help maintain your pool and keep it looking sparkling blue.